excellent Chainsaw Massacre by Toby Hooper, why don't we ever see the characters go to the bathroom or wash their hands like people do in real life? Absolutely no reason. Worse, in The Pianist by Polanski, how come this guy has to hide and live like a bum when he plays the piano so well? Once again, the answer is no reason. I could go on for hours with more examples. The list is endless. All the mistakes I made. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to an album review. Today I got something special for you. It's in, we're going back in time to the 70s. No, just kidding. We're actually going back to last Friday with the new release of an upcoming band that is making a lot of noise and getting a lot of uh, recognition, and that is Greta Van Fleet. I've been hearing them all over the place. I've been invited to a special Facebook page that's designated to Greta Van Fleet, which by the way, this album is designated to, this album review is designated to you guys of the Facebook page. I'll send the links down, down below if you haven't joined or if you already joined, then you don't need to worry about it. But Greta Van Fleet, Greta Van Fleet is, as I said, an upcoming band. They are doing something that has been done before. They're doing the, kind of like the flashback to the 70s, like back in the days of Led Zeppelin, uh, Rolling Stones, Eric Clapton, all those good legends right there. But um, much the same way as a band, which in my opinion, these guys sound a lot alike, um, is The Darkness. But where The Darkness fell short on, you know, they had Oscar mu awesome music, but were unfortunately a one-hit wonder. Greta Van Fleet, on the other hand, they have one thing that The Darkness doesn't have. They're not addicted to heroin. They are addicted to their music. And so I could see these boys going places. Uh, the three of the members are brothers. Um, I'm terrible at the, at names. I know that the lead singer's name is Josh, and then there's Drake, but I forget the other two. But they're three brothers, and then the drummer isn't a brother. Poor bastard. Either way, they, they make amazing fucking music, and Anthem of a Peaceful Army is actually a very, very good album. I am I was shocked. I'm I like 70s styles music, like I'm a huge fan of Led Zeppelin. I, I, I like that stuff. I, I like Rolling Stones, but I'm not a huge, huge, huge fan of it. But Greta Van Fleet is definitely selling me on the idea and they they definitely are, you know, I do like that style. The one thing that I do really respect about Greta Van Fleet that I've actually read up on is that they were bonded together by the blues. Now, I have a soft spot for blues. I mean, some of my greatest favorite blues players are Blind Lemon, you know, Blind Willie McTell, and, you know, Robert Johnson, Muddy Waters, you know, Albert King, and these guys were bonded by blues, and, you know, like, John Lee Hooker is one of their, one of their influences, and, yeah, there, there's this whole dispute about them sounding like Led Zeppelin. Yeah, they, you know, the lead singer does kind of have a Robert Plant view to it, but at the same time, it's his own unique style to it. And that goes for Greta Van Fleet and all in general. Yes, they do kind of sound like Led Zeppelin. Yes, they do kind of sound like something that came from the 70s. That's because that's what they, you know, it's what they were influenced by. But at the same time, there's this sound to them that is only Greta Van Fleet and no one else. And I got to say that these guys, I, I could see these guys becoming a platinum selling record. I could see these guys having a very long, very successful career in music because they're just that talented. I mean... This album is like the whole entire album is like a story. I mean, one of my favorite songs on here is like When the Curtains Fall. I like their very first album. Let me see, I forget what it, I think it's Age of Man. I don't know. I like all of them. I will give this album a 9 out of 10. No, well, actually, you know what? Screw that. Screw that. I'll give them a 20 out of 20. No, 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 no. I'll give them 100 out of 100. Because these guys, yeah. If you don't know who Greta Van Fleet is, then you're like me, living under a fucking rock. But thank God I have cool friends who are all like, oh, you gotta check this out. And 
So yeah, I highly recommend Greta Van Fleet, especially if you're one of those people who loves 70s music, who loves like that, you know, um, just fucking go on a journey type album. That's what this is, by the way. It's like from beginning to end, you go on a journey. And I love albums that are like that, that allow you to go on a journey. And Greta Van Fleet's Anthem of a Peaceful Army definitely sent me on a journey. I am so grateful that I was, um, that somebody turned me on to these guys. Especially you, talking to you, Facebook page. And also the Peaceful Army group chat. But either way, I'm giving a shout out to you. You're the ones who said that you should do a review on Greta Van Fleet. Also, because I'm a YouTuber who happens to like views and secretly I would like to get subscribers. This is the trending thing right now. But that doesn't mean that I don't like it. I love it. And if you're a huge fan of going through a journey album or like the whole 1970s, you know, if you want to, you want to, you know, feel all nostalgic, check out Greta Van Fleet's uh, an Anthem of a Peaceful Army. You will not be disappointed. I highly recommend it. I really enjoyed it. I am really excited to see where these boys go because, as I said, this is their this is their debut album. They've been around for since 2012, and they released a couple of EPs, but this is their first full-length album. And if this is their first full-length album, these boys are going at places. And I'm really, really excited to see where these go these boys go from here. And the best part is these guys are from Michigan too. So hey, you know. Uh, there, there's some great bands that came out of the mission, in Michigan, like one of my favorites of all times, which is the White Stripes. But either way, Greta Van Fleet, I'm excited to see where these boys are going to go. I really enjoyed Anthem of Peaceful Army. I am so glad that somebody suggested that I review this. I mean, the Facebook page would review it. Um, so yeah, there you go. Greta Van Fleet, Army, or uh, yeah, Anthem of the Peaceful Army. You will enjoy it, especially, and I know some of you, my viewers out there, are the type of people who would really get into this. So, again, check this out. I actually very highly recommend it to some of those into my viewers who are into the, you know, ACDC, the old, the old school shit. Old school shit, check this out. If you're looking for something amazing, check this out. Either way, with that said, that was my thoughts on Greta Van Fleet and Anthem of Peaceful Army. To spare myself from nerding out furthermore um if there's an artist or an album that you want to reveal write it down in the comments and i'll get to it as soon as i possibly can um with that and uh, i'll send a link for those of you who aren't a part of the greta van fleet facebook page and you want to i'll put the links down below you can go there like the page there's cool pictures that are posted up there's cool comments posted up you, you'll like it uh so with that said We'll all see you in the next video. So long and thanks for all the fish.